What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are back with another weekly roundup of everything going on in eFootball. I mean, let's see what's here. Let's see what's here, right? So we're going to go through everything. If you're not at your console, I'll get this video out. The event is over for the authentic match. So that is completely done. We also have new events in this, which are pretty much rinse and repeat. So we've got this, the Turkish league, uh, super league as the kind of featured league this season or this, this week. Um, so you've got your AI match that gets you your free national October 19 spin, which is your free player of the week spin. You also have your 50 coins that you're going to be getting in this one here with the skill trainers as the prize. You just choose a team and it doesn't matter what team that you choose. You can just play any team that you want. You go into it and you get one win in the first game and you are going to get your reward of 50 eFootball coins. And then from then on, you're going to be getting skill trainers. So that's 50 coins that you can get. We also have this unlimited that is over in three days. So that will return on Monday. So that is just the two of them that have been added today for the events. 50 coins, skill trainers and your free player of the week for completing both of those the eFootball league is still ongoing um but it is going to be over the 26 you've got one more week until that resets um and then on top of that it's just cards packs and everything else like that right we have nothing in the shop as of yet with the eFootball points shop i'm expecting a big update to that i don't know when it's coming but Beto was the last pl uh, player that was added there perez is ending in 27 days we might have some new stuff in that soon and also apologies lads about me having the hood up it's absolutely baltic here um so yeah just waiting for the house to, to heat up it's early doors but anyway the match pass obviously we got the, that one that's over on the 2nd of november we don't know if it's going to be extended yet so then on to actual packs right so you can see that they've introduced new dream team power packs is what they're calling them and these have been in in the game since eFootball 2022 just a quick mention of the player of the week i've already done a review on that it's up on the channel i'll link it in this video you've got ronaldo mbappe gundogan laporte and of course you've got a couple of other guys there we also have a turkish super league turkish uh, selection here if you want me to do a review on that let me know in the comments below there's a couple of players in here that are quite decent um but otherwise i mean apart from you know fred and the likes of those uh batman here or bane whatever this guy's name is uh there's there's i don't know it, it's more for newcomers right so we'll get into that and then all of these will be still ongoing or else resetting in a couple of days or weeks right 13 days for them and then we'll have new uh boosters on monday right on top of that then as well we have the packs right so i'm going to do a breakdown of these packs as we always do we did have barcelona and manchester united they were there from last week or they were there from like three weeks ago and now they've added the Bayern AC and Inter packs, right? So the only pack I don't have from the last selection was the Arsenal pack. But the Inter Milan pack that you see here, if anyone is not able to check, you get Inzaghi who comes with it. Inzaghi is going to be, um, is how do I check? Hold on now, let's, yeah, Inzaghi is going to be a plus one to stamina um, and he's going to be playing quick counter. So it's kind of like Klopp uh style formation um and this is what you get so you get latauro martinez you get borella you get bastoni you get shalanglu you get summer for tessi de marco turam de frige dumfries and darmian so turam and i think uh for tessi are two players that have been given new cards they haven't got cards before uh, that have been kind of like boosted like this but the rest of the players are pretty similar. I mean, Barella is going to be in-game level player for you. Box to box. Letauro Martinez is an absolute demon. Jan Sommer will get into all of those cards um, with the club pack review. And we have a breakdown of that when I'm on stream later. We also have AC Milan. So Pioli is going to add tackling plus one. And his team play style proficiency is actually going to be quick counter as well. He's going to have an increase to the player's XP for players that are 30 years or above. And you can see all the players that you get here. So Rafael Leao, I would also say that uh, Hernandez is going to be a good selection there. But other than that, I would say that this is probably a weak selection of packs. Obviously, we have to see how they train up and stuff. But I would say that that's a weak selection of packs compared to, um, you know, we have the cards here. But apart from Rafael Leao, like a couple of these guys have got low enough levels. I mean, even Giroud, uh, he can go high enough when you train him up. But you know, there, I think Leao is going to be the selling point here for this one. He's going to be an absolute demon with 28 levels, but he's got inconsistent form, but he's down as a super sub. So there's a lot to get into with that pack. It is a good starter pack. And then, of course, we do have Byron, which are always going to be usually the best pack that you can get. You've got Tuchel here, who's going to give a plus one to physical contact. That's a very interesting one because a lot of players, 
I think physical contact is way more important than people realize, but it's because the game is so fast that you don't really see the nuances of the animations, right? But he is playing out wide. I would actually love to try this Tuchel. I probably will get it. And also, as well as the players, you're going to be getting really, really nice lads here. I mean, obviously, Kimmich is a fantastic player. You've got Davies, who I love. You've got Sané. You've got Coleman. You've got Goretzka. No Musiala, lads. I don't know why he's not there. That is a big, big miss, in my opinion. And you've also got Ulrich and um, no Neuer, right? And I know, obviously, Neuer is, is, uh, is not the first choice, really, anymore. But you've got a couple of players in here that I would have been saying... Well, where's he instead of him, right? Obviously, you've got Thomas Muller and Goretzka, um, and you don't have a couple of players that should be there, in my opinion. I mean, this is obviously because they don't want you to have, you know, the best of the best of the best that you never need to buy any more players. But yeah, all of those players are available, or all of those club packs are available for 1,500 coins. Um, so this brings the total of these uh, to six club packs. You've got Arsenal, Inter, AC, Manchester United, Bayern München, Bayern München and uh, Barcelona. I still think the Arsenal pack, even though I haven't bought this, I've played with it, I've bought it on my other Xbox account. Um, I still think that this one is probably the best for where the game is at at the moment. Possession game is super, super, super overpowered if you're actually able to be good at passing the ball. A lot of people that play possession don't really like passing the ball. They like they always revert back to chasing games by scoring as many goals as you, as you can. With possession, you really need to eke out two to three solid chances a game and score. If you're eking out two or three really solid chances, you need to score two of them. If you're eking out one or two, you need to score the one. And then just be able to completely control the game and nullify players. I mean, you can do that with possession, but I do feel like that this is the best starter pack because you've got Declan Rice, who's endgame DMF, um, or CMF. You've got Martinelli, who's a brilliant, brilliant player. You've got Saka, who's a brilliant, brilliant player. You've also got Jesus, who teaches you the fundamentals of the game. And then you've got Tommy Yasu and Ben White, who are serious players at the back, and Ramsdale bringing it up as well. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I would go from that. But, lads, look, we need content, man. We need content. We need more than this. There's obviously been a couple of other things that they've changed as well. But, by and large, lads, this is pretty much everything. We also, as well as that, have got the new players, the new uh, live update. So, if you ever want to check that, all you need to do is go into live update here, go to A form, and that will give you all the players that are on A form this week. And, of course, you can just sort it by price or whatever um, you want to do. There's not a lot of players uh, on A form this week because of the uh, national championships and the European championships. So um, that's why there's not a lot of players on A and B. Um, but there is a couple of players that you will have from your epics if you do have those. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you guys later. We will be streaming, um, hopefully, uh, for the next two days. So don't forget to subscribe if you're liking the content. And we will talk to you in a bit. Peace.